Right, got a new upgrade. It's been on an hour. 28 degrees. Back of shit. <laughs> Isotherm CR490L because we're getting rid of that chocolate fire guard. Absolute rubbish. So I've decided to bite the bullet and buy a new fridge. So this one is crap. As you can see, it's rubbish. Reason why I'm upgrading on this one is because, excuse the mess behind me, daughter's junk. That is, um, I think they call them thermal cooling ones, and it has like a little um, griddle at the back, like little fan blades, and it has a fan going around it. There's no compressor on it, but it's just absolutely rubbish. So I'll show you now. It's been on that for about an hour. So I'll show you a temp check now, and I'll do a voltage check as well, because it, it draws some bloody power, that, considering what it does, and it it's just doesn't cool stuff down proper. So it's a bag of shite. So what I've done is bought a new one. Now, I would have gone for um, the CRX 50s, you know, they were Basto um, Dometics, but um, I ended up a lot of places were out of stock, and the places what did have them in stock were charging six, 700 quid for them. And I just think that's just scandalous, what they're charging, absolutely scandalous. I mean, for 700 quid, I can get a massive American fridge freezer with a nice dispensing machine on it for the house. So I don't know the just find the prices for camper vans myself personally but anyway so i'm going to try this one this is a wabasto um isotherm one now there's a few reviews on site and some guys reckon you know the, the, the actual power consumption is quite good so we're going to try it so this video is going to be basically installing this thing and getting rid of that thing so see you in a minute oh, yeah bag of sweeties nice one just for campers Right, so that's the fridge out anyway. A lot of bump in here. Get a bag of sweets, get it. Ten percent off. Company insurance. Let's have a look at that. See what they're charging. More shite. As you can see, on the back of this one here now, we've got the compressor and everything to make sure everything's all plugged in. Two quite chunky wires up back there as well. Shouldn't too bad wiring up. These should basically go on to connect to where the other ones are at the back. It is in silver, brushed, well, brushed steel, so, but like I said, I'm not too asked about that. I can always call it from the side if I need to. Look inside it. It's tight enough. Nice enough, little fridge compartment, isn't it? Uh, freeze compartment. Nice tray back there. Ice cube maker, get in. Not bad little setup, really. Voltage protection, so shuts down at 9.6 volts, up to 9.6 and 10.4 to protect the battery. Shame the other one doesn't knack me on battery, although I think it might be a little bit slim. In fact, it's a lot slimmer. Feeling it's not gonna fit. It's been on an hour. 28 degrees. Back of shit.
So that's um, wired in now, so what I'll do, I'll just do a quick temp uh, check on that. Test it. See if it comes on. As you can see now, it lights on top. I've just put on number one now, you can hear compressor coming in now. Not too bad, really, it's quite quiet. As soon as first start, and I'm drawing at the minute on first charge 2.3. Let's get that glow out of the way. 2.3 amps, 2.2, 2 2.1, 2. So it's quite dropping quite a lot now. That for a minute now, I've got that on number one setting, so I'll just turn it up. I'll put it on number three. I'll just try that. You see it there? And if you actually look on here, it's hardly using any power. I'm trying to get that so it's not shady. That's actually now giving me a 0.7 amp charge off my solar panel. So the fridge is running and the panel's still charging the fridge up, no problem. So let me look at it. Got. 2.5 amp charge off the panel, 2.6, 2.3 and that's giving me a 4 amp, 0.4 amp charge so absolutely chuffed a bit for that because that other fridge just absolutely hammered it and basically my panel couldn't keep up with the other one Right, problem number one Back to take the full face panel off here Right, because Dimensions this right is same similar or pretty much same as oh shit dimensions are similar to the CRX50 right which in hindsight I should have sort the other one out and check that one but this cabinet's been made to fit the other one. Hello? So I'm gonna have to do a bit of jiggery poker here now. Trim this front bit down and I'll see how far this goes up. To here, see how far it comes in. Looks like it goes up to the door, so the door sticks out a little bit roughly. Which I'm not too arsed about, but the problem I've got is the gap as well. Slightly wide, this actual unit. So I might just put some fillers in down the side if I can get some in. We'll see what I can knock off. Absolutely jack shit. It goes straight forward when I do stuff. I tell you. Measure twice, cut once. Oh. Right, so I've just rebuilt that unit now, and I'm just um, changing the door on the fridge. So I've just took basically the plastic panel off the top, down here, and then you take that one off there. So basically, that was on top, just holding them off. Cup syringes, so we'll whip them off. Got a bottom one, swap door around, squeeze it in, and I'll show you the fitment. Well, finally in anyway. That was a mission half that. That re trim this piece here, all along there to fit the fridge in, that's screwed into that side there now. And I do have a little gap down inside here, as you can see. But when you think about it, I might get a vent for that, a vented piece, because the compressor at the back, there's no vent at the back of the unit, and I think that'll get quite hot, you know, around the back. So if we get a vented slide there, slip for that side, it won't be as bad then, plus it serves a purpose then. But it's strange that it looks like these units are designed around that fridge. And the fridge is a queer size because when I check the um, sizes of the Dometics and that of the Wacos, uh, they're all the same size as these, so it's quite strange. Well, a couple of mil off here and there, but that's it. Well, as you can see now, got a one amp discharge on there. I'll tell you what, you now get some glare on that, don't you? One amp discharge on that now, that's fired up, it's going on and off that, depending on what the panel's doing. Reese, we'll just test this now. Temperature in the camera, yeah, have a look. Do it on a non shiny surface. 31. 30. 31. That's inside here. Let's see what fridge is at now. Look at that. 2 degrees. At 0 degrees in the fridge. That is absolutely cracking that. Temperature's rising now because I've got everything. Let's have a look at the freezer bit. What we going there? Never. Minus 19? Can't be right at. Minus 20? So there we have it. 
miles better upgrade than that other fridge. Like I said, each, I couldn't even get the temperature in that. I think the best I ever had it was about 10, 12 degrees. A bear in mind, it's like 27 degrees out here today. And uh, I'm happy with that, like I said. Solar panels are easy doing that. I've got a 1.9 charge on the two amp. It's going up more. So, proper happy with that fridge. Like I said, sizing's a bit funny, but I think that's just my units, which have been... Um, design around that shitty fridge but never mind happy days at least the bees will be cold anyway who gives a shit about the aesthetics <laughs> if you like this sort of stuff give us a thumbs up nice one cheers lads